starting to feel a little bit like fall out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I mean, we had that severe storms Monday with that cold mm -hmm. front that brought mm -hmm. some bad weather through the area. You could feel the temperature drop after that, those storms that yep. went through, but this second cold front's really gonna drop temperatures and the humidity even more as we go mm -hmm. into the day tomorrow. That's gonna cross through as we go overnight tonight. And we compared uh, the rain in June and July here in Mankato to last year. Now, if we look at temperatures, it's been a lot cooler as well as wetter this summer. June this year in Mankato, just 10 days at 80 degrees or above. Last year, we doubled that with 20 days in July. Temperatures, we've had eight or 15 days at 80 degrees or above or this uh, above this July. Last year, we had 19 of those days. The biggest difference in July last year compared to this year was there was five days in July that reached 90 or above in Mankato. This year, there was zero. Overall, 39 days last June and July. That was at 80 degrees or above. This year, just 25. So again, it was a hot, dry summer last year. This year, a lot cooler and wetter as we go into the last month of summer. Temperatures though behind that cold front tomorrow 68 degrees for high Friday 67 degrees. Again it is going to feel more like late September than early August. Temperatures start to make an increase as we go into Saturday Sunday into the low to mid 70s and we'll just try to get to 80 degrees by the time we get into the middle of next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Out there now 69 degrees into Mankato. Light shower out there. Dew points into the mid 60s and as soon as that cold front passes tonight those dew points are going to start to drop into the 40s and 50s for the remainder of the week. High temperatures today a good 5 to 10 degrees below our average 73 degrees here into Mankato for high 74 degrees into St. Peter a little bit warmer as you went out west 77 degrees into Wyndham and Slayton and 78 degrees into Worthington and those temperatures are going to stay below average for the next seven to 10 days. We're gonna have a cold front cross through about one, two in the morning with some clouds, possibly a shower or a storm that'll move off to the east by lunchtime tomorrow. And behind it, we'll have partly sunny to mostly sunny day. Again, temperatures into the upper 60s. It's gonna be a cool, dry, comfortable, and beautiful Thursday for us. Out now, a couple showers just to the north of Mankato, very tiny and light, but overall it is dry out there for our Wednesday evening. Over the next hour or two, we could still see a pop-up shower or storm as we go through midnight as that cold front starts to approach and make its way through. Beyond midnight, it should start to move off to the east. As we get towards sunrise, we'll see that cold front start to make its way east. You can see that line where that cold front is between the clouds and where the sun is starting to come out. And by the time we get into the afternoon tomorrow, we should have again a partly to mostly sunny day. Could see a little isolated shower into the afternoon or early evening, but those will be widely isolated for our day tomorrow. And those winds behind the cold front, as you can see, as we get towards four in the morning, as, those, uh, as that cold front pushes to the east, winds start to pick up and they will stay about 20 to 25 miles per hour gusting out of the northwest through our day tomorrow and as well as Friday before they start to calm down as we go into the weekend. Tonight against possible sh shower or storm as that cold front passes. Warmer low tonight, 61 degrees. Tomorrow, cool day, high temperature into the upper 60s. Again, could see an isolated shower, but it overall should be mostly sunny and just cooler for this time of year. As we take a look at that 10 day forecast, temperatures remain in the upper 60s Thursday and Friday, and it'll be Thursday night. See that low temperature of 51 degrees here in Mankato. Again, farther west could be into the upper 40s, but as we go into next week, we try to get back to more summer like weather by the time we get towards Thursday and Friday. Temperatures into the low 80s and more average, but for the next five to 10 days, it's going to feel more like fall than August. That is for sure. All right. Well, that'll prepare us when the real yeah. thing comes that, around. That's, that's true. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Sports is next.